It is a city built on sand, on fog-swept dunes and dry cliffs of chert, rising from a semi-arid desert perched along a salt sea, a city without water. That there is fresh water in San Francisco, abundant, pristine water, is something of a miracle. Drained from a melting glacier 200 miles away, through a system nobody thought could be built, or should be built. A system some died fighting, and some still want to dismantle. Today, millions of people depend on it, and more every day. But the very climate the water depends on is changing. Our water future is very, very uncertain. The existing infrastructure that feeds San Francisco in the Bay Area was designed for a climate that no longer exists. Crumbling infrastructure and negligence have shaken the nation's faith in what it's long taken for granted. We're going forward into this period of enormous global environmental challenge, not trusting the kinds of institutions that solved the problem before. This is the unlikely story of how one city got its water. And the unsolved mystery of how to keep it flowing. Long before San Francisco was ever a city, its most precious resource was water. Its first inhabitants, the Ohlone, could only make the peninsula a seasonal stop. And the Spanish, who came after to establish both a presidio and a mission, considered it a remote and difficult outpost. It was a pretty desolate, windswept, sandy place, quite arid. Um, and it, had, it got rainfall, but very little water. When the gold rush hit in early 1848, it was like a, a cataclysmic transformation. It became what was called the instant city after the discovery of gold. As the new city's population swelled from a few hundred to tens of thousands, water became nearly as valuable as the nuggets being extracted from the Sierras. San Francisco is in a very difficult position for a major city to grow because it's constricted. It's surrounded on three sides by salt water. It's also largely built on sand, sand dunes that absorb water. And it's in a Mediterranean climate, which means it's semi-arid. It only gets about 22 inches of rain a year. So because of this combination of circumstances, there was almost no surface water, no creeks. So that meant that if it was to grow, it had to reach outside the city limits to bring in more water, an assured supply of water, and lots of it, if the city was to continue growing. The new city struggled under the weight of such exponential growth and a lack of city services. Some of the houses had wells, but that really wasn't a very good idea because a lot of houses had outdoor privies which contaminated the water. There was an area called Happy Valley near what is now the Palace Hotel where a lot of the 49ers dug trenches in the ground and many of them ended up dying of dysentery from drinking polluted water. The first robust supply of water was brought over by boat from Springs and Sausalito and sold for fairly high prices by the cup or by the, uh, by the gallon. In 1853, San Francisco finally began granting franchises to private interests to build the infrastructure needed to bring a supply of fresh water to the thirsty city. The first genuine water supply began near Mountain Lake and shipped around the uh, northern side of the city in wooden flumes and pumped up to Russian Hill. And that company that did that was, a, was bought out and acquired by a company called the Spring Valley Water Company which then expanded their holdings and, and increased the flow of water greatly by tapping into Pilar Cito's Creek in San Mateo. And they shipped that by wooden flume to Laguna Honda Reservoir. 
The earliest water monopoly in San Francisco is called the Spring Valley Water Company, and they built the earliest aqueducts that supplied San Francisco. Its board of directors is a roster of some of the most powerful men and real estate owners in San Francisco. They had a vested interest in making sure that the water kept coming in in ever-increasing volume to ensure the continued rise in their property, both in the city and outside of it in San Mateo County and Santa Clara County. The monopoly was unpopular. Newspaper editorials lamented that San Francisco had the highest water rates of any city in the civilized world. <laughs> 